Chapter 4, Prefixes. This chapter concentrates on the most common prefixes and reviews other prefixes you have learned in earlier chapters. I find the study of prefixes potentially confusing as there are many prefixes with similar meanings. Again, as with the study of suffixes, your job is to recognize and identify the meaning of each prefix as it is found in any particular medical term. Another tip for learning the meanings of prefixes is to think of an English term that contains the prefix. This will help you remember its meaning. For example, I think of ante up, putting money into the pot before the cards are dealt in poker, to remember that the prefix ante means before. Three particularly difficult prefixes to remember are inter, between, intra, within, and infra, below. Think of intermission, which is a pause between two parts or acts of a play. Intravenous, meaning within a vein. And infrared, which is a color below the red color in the light spectrum. Don't forget to pay particular attention to the appendices in this chapter. They provide valuable additional information and illustrate the terminology in the chapter. Let's begin chapter 4. Adrenal glands. Renal means pertaining to the kidney. Adrenal, then, is pertaining to toward the kidney. The adrenal glands are two endocrine glands, one on top of each kidney. They secrete hormones, one of which is adrenaline, also called epinephrine. Analysis. Lysis means separation. Ana means up or apart. Analysis literally means to separate or break apart. Urine analysis, or urinalysis, is the separation of urine into its component parts. Anemia. The prefix an, a-n, means no, not, or without. And emia, e-m-i-a, indicates a condition of the blood. Usually, a person suffering from anemia is pale and tired. Anemia is a deficiency of red blood cells, due to decreased production or excessive loss of red blood cells. Antipartum. Partum is birth. Antipartum is before birth. Antibiotic. The prefix anta, A-N-T-I, means against. Bio means life. Tick means pertaining to. Antibiotic, then, literally means pertaining to against life. An antibiotic is a substance given to prevent the growth of bacteria and other microorganisms. Penicillin is an example of an antibiotic. Antibody. In this term, anta means against, and body refers to foreign bodies or agents, such as a virus. Antibodies are proteins made by white blood cells to destroy antigens, which are the foreign organisms that cause disease. Antigen. In this term, anta stands for antibody, and gen means a substance that produces. When antigens, such as viruses, enter the body, they stimulate antibody production. The antibody then goes on to destroy the antigen that stimulated its production. For example, the flu virus is an antigen that stimulates lymphocytes to produce antibodies. Several days after the viral exposure, these antibodies then destroy the flu virus, making recovery possible. This is one of the ways your immune system responds to and fights infection. Aphasia. Phasia means speech. Aphasia is the loss of the ability to speak or express oneself with language. Aphasias present along a spectrum of severity mild to severe. In addition, there are different types of aphasias, including sensory or receptive, in which language is not understood, motor, in which words cannot be formed, or expressive, in which words cannot be expressed. Apnea. Apnea means without breathing. Patients with sleep apnea have temporary short episodes of erratic breathing. Atrophy. Atrophy is wasting away of a normally developed organ or tissue. 
Muscular atrophy is associated with disuse or disease of muscles or nerves. Benign. Benign means harmless. A benign tumor is non-cancerous, not malignant. Bilateral. Lateral means pertaining to the side. Bilateral is pertaining to two sides or both sides. Bradycardia. The prefix brady means slow. Cardia is a condition of the heart. Bradycardia is a slow heartbeat, usually less than 50 beats per minute. Congenital anomaly. A congenital anomaly is an abnormality present at birth. Examples of congenital anomalies are Down syndrome, cleft palate, and heart defects. Dialysis. The prefix dia means complete or through. Lysis means separation. Dialysis literally means complete separation. When the kidneys fail and can no longer separate wastes, such as urea, from the blood, a dialysis machine must perform this vital function. Diarrhea. The suffix rhea, R-R-H-E-A, means flow or discharge. Diarrhea is the frequent passage of watery, loose stools. Severe or prolonged diarrhea can lead to excessive loss of fluid, salts, and nutrients from the body. Dysphagia. Phasia means swallowing. Dysphagia is difficult swallowing. Dysphagia may be a symptom of stroke, other neurologic conditions, trauma, muscle damage, or tumors and swelling. Dysplasia. The prefix dis has multiple meanings, including bad, painful, or abnormal. Plasia means formation. Dysplasia is a condition of abnormal formation. Cervical dysplasia, for example, is formation of abnormal cells in the cervix of the uterus. Dyspnea. A patient with dyspnea has difficult, painful breathing. Dyspnea can result from obstruction of airflow into and out of the lungs. Dysuria. Dysuria is painful urination. Ectopic pregnancy. The prefix ek means outside. Topic is pertaining to place or location. An ectopic pregnancy is a pregnancy that is outside the uterus. The fallopian tubes are the most frequent sites of ectopic pregnancies. Endocrine glands. The prefix endo means within. Crin, C-R-I-N-E, means to secrete. Endocrine glands secrete hormones within the body, directly into the bloodstream. Some examples of endocrine glands are the pituitary, thyroid, and adrenal glands, the ovaries in females, and the testes in males. Endoscopy. Endoscopy is the process of visually examining the interior of a hollow organ or body space. Epidural hematoma. Epi means above. Dural means pertaining to the dura mater, the outermost membrane surrounding the brain and spinal cord. An epidural hematoma is a mass of blood located above the dura mater. Excision. The prefix ex, E-X, means out, and scission is the process of cutting. An excision is the process of cutting out or removing tissue from the body. Hyperglycemia. The prefix hyper, H-Y-P-E-R, means too much, excessive, or above. The combining form glyco, G-L-Y-C-O, means sugar. The suffix emia, E-M-I-A, indicates a condition of the blood. Hyperglycemia, then, is too much sugar in the blood. It occurs in diabetes mellitus, when the pancreas does not produce the hormone insulin. Without insulin, sugar cannot leave the blood to enter cells, and thus sugar accumulates in the blood, leading to hyperglycemia. Hypertension. Hypertension is high blood pressure.